We shift our focus to this. Anglo-American Platinum's third quarter production of Platinum Group Metals fell by 10% due to a mill breakdown, but the company raised its refined production forecast to 3.7 and 3.9 million ounces, citing strong processing performance. In contrast, Kumba Iron Ore's output rose by 3% in quarter 3, keeping it on track for its annual target of 35 to 37 million tonnes. In addition, sales increased 2% year-on-year but dropped 6% quarter-on-quarter due to weather-related shipping delays, according to CEO Mpumi Zigalala. Research analyst Zimala Mbanjo shares insights on these developments. So, looking at this production report uh, for the third quarter by Anglo-American and its subsidiaries, uh, we see similar themes as we've seen in the previous quarters. Um, and in fact, management maintained guidance for the full year across all operations uh, except the nickel operations where they in fact raised guidance because of a strong third quarter performance. Um, at MCLATS, um, as expected, PGMs remain under pressure um, from a price perspective and a demand perspective. Um, while at Kumba Iron Ore, Minas Rios produced a record performance once again. However, this was offset by Kumba's performance here in South Africa due to the curtailment of production, uh, you know, in response to logistical constraints as well as just weaker market fundamentals. The beers as well uh, continue to be weak uh, from, uh, due to the weaker diamond market. While looking at the future facing metals, uh, copper uh, was supported by prices. However, production also decreased there. However, management expects um, their run rate to recover in the fourth quarter.